Hey guys, so I wanted to come on today and talk to you about motivation because for some reason for the last like two weeks I've been getting so many emails and messages from girls that you know are, have done my 14 day free pregnancy workout challenge um, or are just really wanting to have a healthy pregnancy and feel good but they just don't have the motivation. They just feel like they, they can't do it and they've had prior pregnancies where you know, they piled on the pounds and this time they're pregnant and they wanna be healthy, they wanna exercise, they wanna look good, they wanna feel good, um, but for some reason they just can't do it. So I was thinking about myself and why I was so adamant about exercising during my pregnancy. And it really did start before I got, like before I ever got pregnant, I was like so badly wanting to make sure that I felt good about myself, that I was healthy. You know, I think I have a little bit of, you know, extra pressure because I am a fitness and health expert and I have been for, you know, 20 years. So I always feel that extra little bit of pressure from like the rest of the world that like I need, you know, to look good when I'm pregnant. But that's just something I, I did to myself. But I really wanted to, to really badly have a healthy and fit pregnancy. And I've been just spending some time on my own just really thinking about this and I finally got it. And you know, I put on the title of this, this uh, video that my motivation was saving my marriage. And it's funny because it, it's not that, that my marriage needed to be saved, but I felt like I was gonna lose my marriage if I got pregnant and like looked terrible and I felt like my husband Danny wouldn't find me attractive and that it would hurt our marriage. And I know you guys that that sounds terrible and like super vain and that men, our husbands should love us no matter what, um, you know, especially when we're carrying their child, but it's just something that was inside of me. And I feel like is sometimes if we're a little bit honest and we reach down into our hearts and we're vulnerable and we are really honest, we can figure out, you know, the whys of so many things. And sometimes the why helps us to, to be better, you know? And so I think that, that my, my motivation was saving my marriage because I thought it was gonna be bad if I let myself go is because of things that happened around me. So my father was unfaithful to my mother um, and I was engaged at that point. And it was completely devastating to me. Like I was a grown adult and it still like destroyed me. And I'm not saying that it's because of how my mom looked or anything, but for some, my, my mother never took care of herself when she was pregnant. It wasn't just like the thing to do back then, you know, but like nonetheless, she didn't take care of herself. And then after she had, you know, all of us, she never took care of herself. So, you know, she had stretch marks, she gained a ton of weight, she was never able to lose it, she struggled her whole life with her weight. And so, I just kinda like the little girl inside me just always kinda felt like that was gonna happen to me. And, and subconsciously, I think I felt like because my father was unfaithful to her, that it somehow had to do with her not looking good and him maybe falling out of love because she, I don't know and that's so messed up to think that and I'm so judging and I'm not saying that's the truth but I think now that I'm having a heart to heart with myself I think that that's what I thought inside of me that like so I felt this pressure that like I wanted to look good for, for Danny for my husband I wanted to be pregnant and I wanted him to be proud to be walking next to me I didn't want him to think I looked huge and let myself go just because I was pregnant I didn't want him to think I was just now gonna be a mother and forget about being a wife so I put a lot of stress on myself. I think also during that time, I happened to have like three, that's a lot, three friends who were pregnant and just having babies and they or their husbands were unfaithful to them. And I'm not saying you guys that that had anything to do with it because they didn't look good or maybe they gained too much weight, their husbands cheated. Like, I'm not saying that at all, but for some reason, and I know it's messed up, I thought that like in subconsciously. So. I had like walked into pregnancy feeling like this stress, like, oh my gosh, like I don't want pregnancy to, 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 to hurt my marriage. Like I, I, I don't want, I want him to, to feel good 
about who he's with and proud and I want to look good for him and so I know it's super stressful and a little bit vain but nonetheless you guys that motivation fueled my desire to exercise and to be consistent and to take care of my health and my body and my baby while I was pregnant. So, you know, it, it is a little bit fear driven, but but I'm glad that I had that little bit of stress and that, you know, that I put on myself and that I got that motivation instead of like, you know, using it the opposite way and feeling super, you know, down and feeling like, you know, this happened to all my friends and now it was going to happen to me or that, you know, just say kind of like screw it, you know, that kind of mentality, screw it. I'm just going to let myself go, let pregnancy do whatever it wants to my body. But no, I used that motivation and that little bit of fear to do, I was like, I'm going to do everything I can to be healthy, to be fit, to, to take care of myself. I want to be, you know, a, be fit and I want my husband to like walk next to me and be proud that I look good and I want to be able to lose my baby weight super quick and like feel like myself again and you know I want my husband to be proud of me and so I think Danny had a lot to do with it even though he never made me feel that way but can I tell you that I used to love saying he, like he would tell his friends like you know I used to always look at pregnant girls and like kind of be like a little bit like weird out or like never even pay attention to them. He's like, but I actually think that some pregnant girls look hot now. And he, was, he, he would always say, I liked my wife, you know, when she was pregnant, she looked hot. And like that to me is like the biggest compliment. And like maybe because I have this past where, you know, my father was unfaithful and, um, you know, several of my close friends, you know, had instances like that. So it was always kind of like a little bit of fear that I had, but but it, like I said, it fueled my desire and, and I, that was, I would think about that every morning when I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and was like, oh, I don't want to work out and oh my gosh, I'm tired and I'm pregnant. And I'm like, first of all, the only like human being on the street at, you know, 445 in the morning going to the gym and let alone a pregnant woman at like 445 in the morning driving to the gym, but I did it. And I'm so glad I did. And 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 my desire to um, save my marriage or, you know, like just do good to my marriage really helped to fuel my consistency and my determination um, with my workouts. So because of it, I had a really healthy and fit pregnancy. I did, um, and I didn't work out a lot, you guys, but, it, but I did like three to four workouts a week, but I did resistance training workouts, which are the absolute best kind of workouts for pregnancy. Like there is no other w type of workout that is better for pregnancy than resistance based. So I tested all of them. I've been a fitness and health coach for 20 years. If you don't know me, I'm Michelle Marie and I've been in the fitness and health industry for over 20 years. Um, worked with from celebrities to professional athletes to just moms and, um, you know, after I had my, after my first pregnancy and uh, being successful with being healthy and fit and being able to drop all my pounds um, postpartum quickly, um, you know, I started testing workouts, different kinds of workouts and um, resistance training workouts, but were by far the best because you could actually tone, like you could transform the body. Like you could actually tone the body even while pregnant. For some reason, even though that's like what I did for a living, I, thought that you, just because you were pregnant, it would be so much harder to tone, but it's not, you guys. You can still get results and tone, like more tone of your body while pregnant. I did it, and I've helped thousands of women do it too. So I am, can tell you 100, 200% that the best kind of workouts to do while pregnant is not cardio, it's not Pilates, it's not yoga, it's resistance training, and literally, three workouts a week is like enough. Like you could see really great results if it's a really good design program and it changes every four weeks, amazing. So I just wanted to come on here and, and um, share with you my story and, and what I just, re literally I just had this heart to heart with myself like a few days ago. And um, I wanted to share it with you because I feel like maybe if you can find, um, you know, what that fear is that you have right now during pregnancy or or what your motivation is, um, you could use that to help 
fuel your your consistency and your determination and and it can help you be um, more successful with whatever your goal is for this pregnancy so I hope that you are inspired I hope that you will have a heart to heart with yourself and um, find where that motivation is and maybe you are like me as well and maybe a part of you um, wants to feel like your husband thinks that you look sexy still while pregnant maybe a part of you um, you know is a little bit afraid that you, he won't find you attractive and and maybe that is why you're so worried about piling on the pounds um, and you know they, they will love us no matter what it's like just craziness in our heads um, but it always helps to you know know for sure that your husband still finds you attractive and sexy when you're pregnant I think it just helps you enjoy your pregnancy more because you're a little bit more confident and um, and that's always good. So um, I hope this helps you. I would love to hear from you. And um, if like this affected you in any way, just tell me in the comments. Like, listen, Michelle, I think that now now listening to you, maybe um, I realize that this is my motivation and this is what I'm fearing. And like, this is how I can use it um, to motivate me to be healthier and, and be more fit this pregnancy. I would love to hear for you, from you. If you have any questions, I will, and you're watching this on the replay, I will come back and answer any questions. So go ahead and go on there. And, um, if you want to try my 14 day free pregnancy workout challenge, um, I can post the link here in the comments. It is totally free. It's 14 days and it's amazing. The community, um, we have a private Facebook group is totally amazing as well. So we would love for you to join us and um, I'll talk to you guys later.